Hey guys, it's me, Vincent. Uh, I'm here to tell you about the adventures of Jason. There are a lot more than three. Uh, so, Jason, long story short, he's the person, he's the person that unites about three family trees. He, he's supposed to find a sheepskin rug called the Golden Fleece. It will tie Greece together. Seems he already united something. Uh, he has he has a crew of, of over of about the most unnatural names and bravest heroes. You may have heard some of them. Hercules, familiar? Okay, our first stop is Lemnos, the island of stinky women. Why is it the island of stinky women? Or it's not something very disturbing. The the goddess of love, Aphrodite, was a very proud person. She was very stuck up. So she didn't want people not worshipping her. So <clears throat> but in this island Lemnos, people were neglecting her. The women were neglecting her. So Aphrodite cursed all the women with a stink so bad that some ancient Greek writers said you could hear it. You could hear the smell so bad. You know, like the stench, you know, like the old saying, the stench is vibrating? I think that's where it comes from. Um, this, they elected a woman called Hipsy Peely. I'll spell that as well as I can. To be their queen. It's not this. Hmm. I just spelled it the way it's pronounced, so this is probably not the right thing. I mean, this sound. This looks a little ridiculous. Anyway, uh, where the but there's something I haven't told. You. I haven't told the island of stinky women. The the men hated the women because of their stink. So do you know what the women did? You know what all the women did? They killed their husbands. Uh, they killed all the men in the island except for a couple that left. Except for a few that left, told the other islands. Which told the other islands? Which told the other islands? spread all to Greece, and nobody's been docking on Lemnos ever since. And do you know why this is such a big problem? Alright, so you need, so you, so you need a man and a woman to have a child. But, since all of mass, but since, but since man is on short supply, no kids. No kids means no future generation. No future generation means the population will just keep going down. And that means Lemnos is doomed. But luckily, the Argonauts, that's what they call it, that's what Jason's crew members are called. Those Argonauts docked at Lemnos. And I and there's something I forgot to tell you. Ironically, as soon as all the men were killed, the woman stopped stinking. So, as soon as, so if, so the men are dead, and then the stinky goes away too. So it's just the island of women, because no man exists there. Until the Argonauts came. This is their boat called the Argo. Lemnos. Oh, there's an interesting Lemnos legend. It's the birthplace of Apollo and Artemis. Lemnos used to, Lemnos used to just, it didn't have any roots, which by that means it just floated around. Until Apollo and Artemis were born, it settled its roots and humans were capable of living there. And as soon as the Argo came there, a bunch of all those women came and asked them, and asked them to uh, get married. It happened, and you know what happened? The 
the the Argonauts completely forgot about their mission. They were so there's they're so they're living such a good life that they forgot about what they were supposed to do, except for two heroes called Atalanta. That's Atalanta. Atalanta, not Atlanta. And and our good fellow Hercules, which took me a long time to do, by the way. These two remembered. Hercules get always got the star treatment. He wasn't swayed by these beautiful groupies. Atalanta. Oh, well, she's a woman, natural. Well, she's a woman too, so um, that's so it's natural that she didn't get that she didn't get chummy with the girls. Anyway, as Atalanta, Atalanta and Hercules complained to, complained to Jason, who listened and understood, and forced the Argonauts to leave the island. The end. But don't worry, what happens to Lemnos? Is that the women were already gonna have kids. The women were already gonna have kids. Which means that the population will go up because the Lemnosians will go like, oh hey, I have a son and you have a daughter, so uh and they arrange the marriage and stuff. Horrible Greeks. Anyway, now they move to the Isle of Dolian. Actually, the island is getting shared by these people, and I erase these. The Jijinis are Earthborn. Children of Gaia, yet they aren't very smart. They have six arms, three on each side, capable of ripping up trees and throwing boulders. They are not human. They are, as you guessed, they are not human. They are not monsters either. They are giants. And the Argo comes here too. The land of the Dolians, or the Dolians and Jejenes are split by a mountain called Bear Mountain because it looks like a bear. This Bear Mountain splits this island. Splits this island because it would not be good if Jejenes and Dolians lived in the same place because the Jejenes are cannibals. And as the Argo came here, Jason made friends with the king. All those Dolians, kind of disgusting. They all, they all just descended from Poseidon. But the per but the king of the island married a native woman, which means a descendant of Poseidon married a descendant of Poseidon. But let's not worry about that because gods don't have. Because simply to say, gods don't have that that ridiculous scandal of humans. Uh, gods are meant to be perfect. I think that's why the ancient Greeks weren't bothered by brother marrying sister thing. And they're the king of the Dolians are called Zikas. This person was young, about Jason's age. He was he was rowdy and liked to party. So the Argos, so the Argo docked there, got supplies, and uh, played all day with the Dolians. The next day, they got up with very bad with conditions that were very bad. I mean, you have one night of party, the next. The next day, you're all queasy and want to throw up, and you can't like use your legs because they're too worn out and stuff. And 
and they for and they completely forgot. So that means the Sikas warned them, all the Jujinis, but they completely forgot. Wow, and by the way, Jujinis means earthborn. They're born from the earth. Gaia is the earth goddess. Makes sense. Gaia. Gaia has a lot of children by herself, by the way. That's horrifying. And the and as the Argonauts partied with the Tholians, they forgot about their they didn't forget about their mission this time. When they woke up they were all they couldn't go they couldn't carry on with their mission because they were too worn out. <clears throat> and they went to the other side of the island. They met the Jijinis. And they met the Jijinis. And. And the Jijinis attacked. But Hercules was taking care of the boats. The Jijinis all died. Yeah, but Hercules was like, uh oh, I think these guys will come. I think these guys will come in larger packs. So he said to Jason, we gotta leave this island right now. But Jason said, we're still low on supplies. They were low on supplies. The whole supply thing bothered the Argonauts on their mission, always. We're running low on supplies. Oh no, we have no food, no water. We're gonna run out soon. Well, I have a way to make water. Gather seawater. Then, oh, uh, that's just making salt. Sorry. Uh, when and at night, that's this thing is worse. At night, there was an attack. The Argonauts were coming back here, on the Dolulian side of the island. There was an attack. Spears ran that spears ran down on the island, but they looked like rocks, which meant the and the Argonauts were like, uh oh, it's the Earthborn again. There was a big battle. <coughs> there was a big battle against the Dodo against the Dolians and the Argo. Do you know what happened? Zizikas died in battle. He was killed by Jason. And do you know what happened to that? To them? The Argo has a magical plow. I probably should draw a head here. Smiley face. And this plow is from the Oracle of the Dona. The Dona. Which is the second most important one in Greece. The Oracle. And the first and the most important one is Delphi. But but if you see my other videos, they give pretty depressing advice. They're bad people. Don't go to, don't eat fortune cookies because the whole thing is not gonna work. Anyway, the Do the Dolians and the Argo fought. None of the Argo died, but dozens of, but dozens of these guys died. This guy was killed. So the queen hanged herself. They left, but they try, at least they tried to leave. But since there was no mo since there were no motors in ancient Greece, it all depended on the wind and sails. But no wind, gods were cursing them. So this guy, so this the donut person was like, "All right, why? All right, why don't you make a temple and get and sacrifice some cows? You people are idiots." And so they did that, exactly that, and the winds picked up again because God like because gods like sacrifices better than people, mean people. And the last one, Glaucus. This is sadly when the great hero Hercules pulls out of the mission. He has to go back to do his own thing, labors. He has twelve labors. You can learn that. In, you can learn about that. It was probably the last labor. So, you can watch that so you can see that, learn about that in my second to last Hercules video. Um, 
Glaucus. I'm not gonna tell you who he is yet. It's supposed to be like a. It's supposed to be a surprise. Well, they went to this island. I don't know its name. And Hercules had an apprentice called. Called. His name was Hylas. Hylas. Kind of his boy wonder. Anyway. Uh, Glock and uh, Hylas, Polyphemus, Polyphemus, wow, sounds like a name, this is actually also the name of an evil Cyclops, but I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna talk about that now. Polyphemus, son of Zeus, Hylas, uh, I don't know, uh, Polyphemus and Hylas and Hercules, went to get supplies on the island because it seemed nice. No Jujibis, no, no party in Goyland. It seemed that nobody lived there. So they just started to do stuff. Poly, uh, Hercules. Hercules had gotten supplies, suddenly disappeared. Had, and, but he suddenly disappeared. Hylas, Hylas's end is a sad ending because something very terrible happened to him. Hylas was gonna get water. He uh, he had well, there was a lake. I mean that seems not clean, but those lakes are not polluted. They're not like Japan seas. Uh, Japan is doing all kinds of horrible stuff, and but lakes are usually filled with naiads. Naiads, which are which are women, naughty women, and these people. And while Hylas was on, while Hylas was here, waiting with his piece, with his jar, getting water. His jar seems a little big, but don't worry. The Naiads. There are like dozens of them. The Naiads kidnapped him because they liked him and forgot that he needed oxygen to breathe. They killed him! They killed him, I can't believe it, it's so sad. I mean, Nads killed dozens of people, but this is a little sad. I bet Hercules is gonna be really mad. And Polyphemus also stayed on the island. He um, killed a bunch of monsters and then found and then founded a city. Anyways, Glaucus and the Argonauts were like, what? Hercules is gone? Hylas? Hylas is gone? They're all gone? What happened to them? And everyone goes to Jason like, you're horrible, Jason. How can you just abandon three people? And then they go to like a lake to get more water. And suddenly the sky called Glaucus appears. Glacus, I'll tell you why he appears in the water. He ate some magical herbs and became like a merman. He's an immortal. He's like an immortal uh, prophecy guy. So, the, so what he does, his job, is to help sailors. They're sailors, technically. So he goes like, oh, hey guys. Uh, hi, Lass. Hi, Lass is dead. And Polyphemus is going to found the great city. And Hercules is going to go back to his labors. So they leave. And that's the end of today's video. That's the end of today's video. But there will be more. Watch out for my next one. Thanks, guys. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.